Hello everybody and welcome to our video on how to use the battery and solar calculator which is built into our customer layout form these days. Basically it just helps you run through what items you might have in your van, how much power they're going to consume based on how much you use them, then we're going to allow the solar panels and split charger charge contributions to come into the calculation and at the bottom it's going to give us a little power figure. So when you open the customer layout form you're going to be greeted with this help and how to's page. If you scroll down to the bottom you'll see help and how to layout and today we're going to be using battery and solar calculator. Come over here you will get this page. It's filled out with a set of defaults just to show you what's going on here um, and likewise all the way down to the bottom where it's going to give us power figures. So we're going to start by just deleting these figures out of here because we don't need them for this. We're going to fill them all in fresh. The first thing to do is just basically start with the items on the top. How many of them are you going to have? What's your duration per day? And the quantity of them. So we're going to have uh, the lights on for about four hours in the evening. And we're going to have four of them. As you can see, that's worked out 1.8 watts times four times four gives us 28 watt hours. That's what we're going to be consuming per day. We'll quickly go through based on what I've got in my van at present. I have a CRD20 fridge that's on all day and I've got one of those. So that's 240 watts. And then we go down. I don't have a water pump. I do have a USB with one device on charge and that's probably three hours for one of those. And we do have an inverter, which we probably use for about four hours a day. One of those with my laptop on it, which we'll come to in a moment. We don't have any of the other items here. A few of the items have a little drop-down menu, um, such as the fan, where you can select whether it's ho low, medium, or full power. And that's going to change the power figure in the box. So just pick that based on what you think. It does make quite a difference with some of them. Here we come to the blank space where you have the option for a few extra bits and bobs which you can add. You can just jump in here, type what it is for your own reference. You'll need to look up the power consumption figure and add it into this box here. So uh, let's just say we're going to add in a cool box which is 30 watts and we're going to use that for two hours and we've got one of those. You can see that that's going to add 60 watt hours to our daily consumption. In this instance, we don't have one of those, so we're just going to clear that out. Um, I don't have any heating, anything like that in the van. The only other thing we are going to take into account is my laptop, uh, which we said above I was going to use for four hours, and I have one of those. Now, that's all the power we're going to be using. Come down here, it's got our daily power requirements, which is 468 watt hours per day. Uh, that's on average medium. If you go above 750, it's going to be high. Below 250 is low, so it's quite a wide range. Now we know what we're going to consume. We'll come down to what we're going to do to charge that battery up on any given day. So the first thing we come to is solar panel. Uh, you drop this down and say click yes in the box if we've got the solar panels, which I do, and I have 300 watts of solar on there. Um, and I do use it in the winter quite a lot. So we'll go for winter. What winter mode does is it drops the power consumption on a day because the days are shorter, tend to get less sunlight, so it's going to drop the power consumption down there. Then that gives us an estimated average of 222 watts. That's going to come into the calculation later on. We don't tend to drive that often when we're away, so I'm going to leave that as no. But if you do, then you've got the split charge rate. If you've got a battery to battery charger, you can put the power figure in there. If not, 20 amps is pretty good for a conventional voltage sensing split charge on most vans. Then we'll go for the number of hours per day that you might drive on any typical day. Then it would give you the amount of power that that's gonna put back into your batteries. We can come down here to sort of the, the results where we see that the daily power consumption, 468 from the grid above, and we're going to put 222 back in, which gives us a net of 247 watt hours per day, which is roughly 20, uh, call it 21 amps. So if we were to stay off grid for three days, we'd see that we need 61 amps. Now that's, and this little graphic here just shows what percentage of this recommended battery you're using. So if we up that to four days, that's going to take us over to two batteries, 
and it's going to take us down to a much lower percentage of the available power in those batteries. Um, here's a link to some of the batteries. But ultimately, if you just, when you fill this out, save this page, email it back to us, and we'll make sure we have a look through, check on the uh, batteries that you recommend, and then we'll pop them on the quotation. So thank you ever so much for watching. Any questions, as always, just give us a shout. Thank you.